Hi, kiddo. I'm Grandma Goody. And the day I'm recording this is a special day when we honor the Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr. He was a great leader and a preacher who used Bible verses in his most famous speech called, I Have a Dream. He led a march to change the way black people were being treated very mean and to change unfair laws and call people of all races to treat each other equally and with respect and love. And he protested against racism. I'll tell you what that is. But first, I want you to hear a little bit of that famous speech where Reverend King spoke about his dream for children like you. Because I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. is race and racism. A race and most kiddos think like a foot race to see who could go the fastest, but that's not what they're talking about when they say race. When God first made people, he made us all human and we were all part of the human race. It means the group of people that God created. Well, once people started having their own families and their own tribes, the different people groups started to look different than the other people groups. And so some people had a darker skin, some people had lighter skin, some people had dark hair that was straight, and other groups had dark hair that was more curly. All these different groups tended to live with people that looked like them and dressed like them and talked like them. That's what you'd call a race. It's a group of people that's alike each other because they come from the same family line. And this goes way, way back. This is nothing new. This been going on as long as there were different groups of people. The groups of people stay with the people like them and they look over at the people different from them and they start thinking, I don't know that I like those people and I don't think those people like me and then they start like fussing and fighting but not with a person but with a whole group against another whole group and when you look down on somebody because of the race they are or the color of their skin or the people group or the tribe they're part of, that's called race is. I'm going to tell you a story that Jesus told. He makes a hero out of someone who was the most hated race of people in his neighborhood. Uh, I recorded it a while back as a bedtime story, so that's why Grandma Goody's wearing her nightgown. So one day, this expert in the religious law came to Jesus. So he said to him, Rabbi, what do I have to do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, now you're a teacher of the law. How do you read it? And the man uh, probably straightened up and felt very important because he liked to be teaching people about the law of God. And so he gave this answer. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Now he would have been fine if he had stopped right there, but he didn't. He followed up with this question. He said, but who is my neighbor? And so Jesus said, well, let me tell you a story. There was a man who was going from Jerusalem to Jericho. Now, everybody knew that that was a treacherous road. All the bandits and robbers and bad guys hid out there to attack people and take their money and hurt them. So as he was going down this scary road, he was set upon by robbers and they beat him up and they knocked him down. They stripped off all his clothes and took all his stuff. They thought he was dead. They just left him lying there on the side of the road and he was hurt and bleeding. Here down the road comes a priest. Now a priest, he's a religious man. So you'd expect that he'd help this poor fella, but he just looked at him. He saw him because he walked over on the other side of the road to go around him and just kept on going. Next down the road 
comes a Levite. Now, he knew the law about loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself. What's he going to do? He looks at this man and he crossed over and he went by as if he didn't even see him and he ignored this man in need. Now, in Jesus' story, he's going to do something tricky here that I have to explain to you. He's talking to a crowd of people and he chooses a character called a Samaritan. Now, in their community, the religious people taught them that the Samaritans were the people you were supposed to hate. You were allowed to hate the Samaritans. In fact, the religious people were proud that they hated the Samaritans. So Jesus picks this character to play a surprising role in his story. And now, this hated and despised Samaritan comes down the road with his donkey and he sees this poor fellow laying there bloody and bruised. And the Samaritan looks at him and he takes pity on him. He goes over and he bandages up his wounds and puts oil on it to make it feel better. And then he picks him up gentle-like and he puts him on his own donkey and he gently takes him to an inn where he could be protected and taken care of. Now he takes his own money and he gives the innkeeper enough money to pay for caring for him for a few days. And he tells him, would you please take care of this poor man? I will come back and take him with me. And if he, if he costs you any more than that, I'll give you extra money to pay for his care. And then Jesus asked the man who asked him the question first, he said, now, which of these three would you say was a good neighbor to that man? And he answered and said, well, the one who showed him mercy. And that mercy was that gentle care. Jesus said, you go and do likewise. But what should we learn from this story? God loves people of every race. But racism causes people to hurt other people or not to show mercy. So racism is wrong. God commands us to love one another the way He loves us. So we should love our neighbor the way we want to be loved ourselves. So in honor of Dr. King and Jesus, let's treat all people equally and try to love our neighbor as ourselves. And let me show you where you can find this story in your own Bible. It's in the New Testament. The book is called Luke, and the chapter is chapter 10, and the verses are 25 to 37. And if you're using the secret code, it's L-U-K-10 and the two dots, and 25 to 37. And you remember, kiddo, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more.